May 15, 2020, Friday of the fifth week of Easter. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The apostles and presbyters, in agreement with the whole church, decided to choose representatives and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Barsabbas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers. This is the letter delivered by them. The apostles and the presbyters, your brothers, to the brothers in Antioch, Syria, and Sicilia of Gentile origin, greetings. Since we have heard that some of our number, who went out without any mandate from us, have upset you with their teachings and disturbed your peace of mind, we have with one accord decided to choose representatives and to send them to you along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are sending Judas and Silas, who will also convey the same message by word of mouth. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us not to place on you any burden beyond these necessities, namely to abstain from meat sacrificed to idols, from blood, from meats of strangled animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you keep free of these, you will be doing what is right. Farewell. And so they were sent on their journey. Upon their arrival in Antioch, they called the assembly together and delivered the letter. When the people read it, they were delighted with the exhortation. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. My heart is steadfast, O God, my heart is steadfast. I will sing and chant praise. Awake, O my soul, awake, lyre and harp. I will wake the dawn. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give thanks to you among the peoples, O Lord. I will chant your praise among the nations. For your mercy towers to the heavens and your faithfulness to the skies. Be exalted above the heavens, O God. Above all the earth be your glory. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. This is Catholic Daily Reflections for Friday of the fifth week of Easter. Today's reflection is entitled, You Are Chosen. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain. Children love to play games. When a game is organized between two teams, kids will often line up and wait to be chosen. Each child hopes to be chosen first. It's affirming to be wanted for the team. When a child is chosen last, this can be difficult and hurtful. This reveals the desire within each of us to be long and to be wanted. The good news is that God does choose each one of us. He wants us as a member of his family and he wants us to belong to him. This is essential to understand, and when it's understood, it's very affirming. It's a good spiritual practice to regularly reflect upon the fact that God chose us even before we were born. He knew us from all eternity and set his eyes upon us, longing to bring us into his fold. 
We need to understand this, accept it, and believe it. We do belong. God not only chooses us to belong to Him, He also chooses us for His mission. He wants to use us to go and bear fruit for His kingdom. He wants to use us for a sacred purpose and a divine calling. Being a member of His team means that our lives have purpose and meaning. No matter how unqualified we may feel at times to make a difference, we must remember that God does not see us that way. Rather, He sees the infinite potential within each of us and chooses to use that potential for the building up of His kingdom. Reflect this day on two short phrases. I have chosen you and go and bear fruit. Accepting your call from God will change your life and will also change the lives of those whom you are called to serve. Let us pray. Lord, I know you have chosen me. I accept your call in my life. I accept the fact that you have appointed me to fulfill your mission in a unique and glorious way. Help me to continually say yes to your call. Jesus, I trust in you.